Top 10 Most Dangerous Roller Coasters in History. Number 10, Big Thunder Mountain, Disneyland, California, USA. Themed after a runaway mine train, riders twist and turn through a series of mountains, old mine shaft tunnels, and desert landscapes. On the morning of September 5th, 2003, Disneyland failed to uphold its promise of being the happiest place on Earth when a terrible accident took place. On the morning the accident occurred, the ride had been running seemingly without a hitch. But for the last couple rides before the incident, cast members, Disneyland Park employees, reported strange noises coming from train number two. At around 11.20 a.m., the lead car on train number two, designed to look like a red steam engine, became a true runaway mine train and derailed in a tunnel, and the car connected behind it got forced underneath. Moments after the accident, witnesses who were next in line to ride Big Thunder recall two young men who were able to free themselves from the debris running out of the tunnel yelling, Someone is hurt bad! It's really serious! Get someone up here! Other riders were trapped in the wreckage for some time before rescuers were able to free them. Ten riders in total were injured. One 22-year-old man was admitted to the hospital listed under serious condition. He had lacerations on his face and a serious chest injury. Another 22-year-old man, Marcelo Torres, who was riding in the front by himself, died to a head and chest injury. Despite this fatal accident, this ride is still open today. Number 9. The Fujin Raijin 2 Expo Land in Osaka, Japan. This steel, standing roller coaster, sometimes referred to as the Osaka Death Machine, speedily brings riders through multiple turns and dips. Expo Land had been open for 30 years with no problems, but had also failed to replace aging parts during this time to save money. In 2007, the negligence caught up when the Fujin Rajin 2's coaster wheels broke off and derailed one of the cars. The car turned on its side and a rider hit her head on the guard rail and was instantly killed. 18 others were injured. The tragic accident caused the closure of the park for months as inspections of all the coasters were conducted. It was found that the yearly inspection of the coasters was missed and three park employees were charged and found guilty of professional negligence resulting in death. These employees had also filed false reports that the park had conducted regular checks on the roller coaster. After the inspections, the park was reopened, but the Fujin Rajin 2 ride was permanently closed. The park only remained open for two more years before closing due to financial troubles. People lost trust and stopped visiting the park. This wasn't the only park required to do inspections after the accident. Every amusement park across Japan was shut down to do inspections, causing other parks to go out of business as well, unable to afford the downtime. The eighth most dangerous roller coaster in history is the Wildcat Ride at Bell's Amusement Park in Oklahoma, USA. This steel four-man thrill coaster had a height of four stories, with multiple turns and drops. Able to ride 900 guests per hour, at first glance, nothing about this roller coaster seemed terribly dangerous. But one fateful day made this coaster one of the deadliest in history. The accident took place on April 26, 1977, two weeks after the Oklahoma Labor Department safety inspection of the ride, which found no faults. Four riders had nearly reached the top of the lift hill when the lift chain prematurely unattached and the coaster suddenly started sliding backwards. The safety system that was supposed to prevent this failed due to poor design. The coaster came speeding back down the lift hill and slammed into the car waiting to go next. A 14-year-old boy who was in the front seat of the coaster that malfunctioned was ejected from his seat when the carts impacted each other. He hit his head on a metal support bar and died. Not only did this awful accident result in the death of this poor 14-year-old boy, but six other riders were sent to nearby hospitals, two of them in serious condition. Number 7. Willard's Wizard at Marriott's Great America, Santa Clara, California, USA. This speed racer roller coaster starts in a spiral lift hill that raises the coaster 21 meters into the air before whizzing around the track for two minutes of adrenaline-packed turns and dips. The Whizzer was a popular attraction, but unfortunately, it wasn't as popular at the park to upkeep rides, and as such, the next accident was completely avoidable. On March 29, 1980, 
As the train was finishing the track, the braking system failed to slow the coaster as it entered back into the loading area and it struck the train that was being boarded. Eight people were injured and a young boy of about 13 years old was killed. The boy was thrown onto the tracks and crushed. Authorities later found that the park in Santa Clara had been aware of the fault in the braking system, but failed to report or address the problem before it was too late. Despite this, the ride ran for another eight years before finally closing. Its twin at Six Flags in Illinois is still operational. The sixth most dangerous roller coaster in history, Wild Wonder, at Gillian's Wonderland Pier, New Jersey, USA. This steel zigzag coaster isn't known for speed, big dips, loops, or anything else exciting. Instead, it's best described as a wild mouse ride. On August 29th, 1999, Mark Matzak and his two kids were next in line to board the Wild Wonder when he noticed the train that had just left started hurtling backwards down the lift hill. It was like, oh my god, it's coming back down, said Matzak, 39. As quickly as I said that, it hit. A mother and her daughter were on the coaster that malfunctioned, and they both unfortunately lost their lives. Two others were injured. So what happened? After an investigation, authorities found that during a recent scheduled maintenance, park employees had replaced factory parts with much cheaper, lower quality replacements. Not only were the parts cheap, but they were installed incorrectly, causing the safety mechanism to be unable to stop the train from rolling backwards as intended. Deaths like this are so unfortunate because they were so avoidable. Brace yourselves, because we're now in the top five most dangerous roller coasters in history. Number five is the Derby Racer at Revere Beach, Massachusetts, USA. This wooden coaster was literally built as a race, with two simultaneous rides launched side by side allowing for riders to roll head to head against each other along the track. Derby Racer was a problem from the very start and should not have been allowed to operate as long as it did. In June 1911, shortly after the ride was opened to the public, a young man was thrown from his seat and incurred life-threatening injuries. After this accident, the coaster did shut down, but only for two short weeks. Six years later, a man was tossed from his seat and landed in front of the train and was crushed. The park's treasurer also lost their life on the ride during a safety demonstration, but all the park did was add a few safety rails around the track. At least two other notable incidents took place on the ride in its lifetime after the first three incidents. In 1923, a couple was thrown from the ride and incurred serious injuries. And in 1929, another rider was thrown from the train, resulting in the 1935 Massachusetts Supreme Court case against Ocean View Amusements, the operator of the coaster. A ride has to be super deadly to warrant a Supreme Court case. Number four, Big Dipper at Krug Park in Omaha, Nebraska, USA. This wooden four car train train coaster featured long, speedy downhill straightaways and was home of one of the most deadly roller coaster accidents in US history. Krug Park was founded in 1895 by a brewing company. It was essentially a beer garden with amusement rides. The park included an ice cream parlor, wave machine, hot air balloon, and a roller coaster named the Big Dipper. On July 24th, 1930, around 6 p.m., a tragedy occurred. A bolt came loose, derailing the Big Dipper's front car, which then pulled the following three cars behind it off the track. All four cars, loaded with 23 riders, went flying and plummeted 10 and a half meters to the ground below. 17 people were injured, four were killed, three instantly. Two riders died in the cars, and one onlooking below was crushed by the falling train. The last died in the hospital from internal bleeding the next morning. Others who survived had broken bones, fractured skulls, and many other serious injuries. After the horrible accident, the park's attendance dwindled until the park closed in 1940. The accident also resulted in the complete ban of roller coasters in the city of Omaha until 1950. Congrats on making it to the top three. If you're enjoying this crazy look at the deadliest roller coasters in history, dropping a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more mind-expanding top 10 videos, remember to hit subscribe. Honestly, even though this honorable mention isn't a roller Roller coaster. The human trebuchet is definitely one of the most insane rides in history. 
the third most dangerous roller coaster in history is called Mindbender at the West Edmonton Mall in Canada. At the time, the largest indoor roller coaster in the world, Mindbender was a fast metal coaster featuring multiple frightening loop-de-loops, speedy downhill turns, and a max speed of 100 kilometers per hour. On the night of June 14, 1986, Rodney Chaco's life would be changed forever. He and his friend, David Sager, were the last to board. They sat in the rear car behind engaged couple, Tony Mandrusaic, and Cindy Sims. Partway through the ride, one of the wheels on the rear car came off due to a bolt coming loose, and the car started fishtailing behind the others. This slowed down the coaster, and it was unable to complete the next loop-de-loop, -loop, and the train started going backwards, causing the rear car to strike a support pillar. Rodney, David, Tony, and Cindy were all thrown from their seats onto the cement floor below. I remember feeling it sway, and grabbing onto the handle recalls Chaco. The next thing, I was landing on the ground. Rodney Rodney was the only survivor of the car that flew off the track, but suffered major injuries. The crash shattered his lower legs, crushed half his left shoulder and broke his feet, pelvis, lower back, and every rib on his left side. 19 others were sent to the hospital. Rodney Chaco has chronic pain from the accident that he has had to deal with since 1986. He is also still pushing for the West Edmonton Mall to put up a memorial for his friend and the couple that lost their lives that night but has gotten little to no response. The second most dangerous roller coaster in history is also named, like number four, the Big Dipper. But this coaster was at Buttersea Fun Fair in London, England. This wooden roller coaster featuring several dips and turns was the unfortunate location of the single most deadly roller coaster accident in history. On May 30th, 1972, the Big Dipper roller coaster was the most popular attraction at what some would consider Britain's first theme park, predating Disneyland by four years. This ride started just like any other. Eager passengers loaded up to have their turn, but it didn't take long for disaster to strike. The train left the loading area and made its turn to start up the lift hill. But once near the top, the haul rope broke and the coaster rolled back towards the loading area. As the train roared backwards down the lift hill, the small curve in the track launched riders from their cars, causing death and injury before the train then crashed into the one loading at the queue. To make things worse, a young girl who survived the initial crash tried to help her friend who she saw was buried under the debris from the wreckage. But when she got up and started walking toward her friend, the walkway gave way beneath her and she fell to her death. This tragic accident claimed the lives of five people in total and injured 13 others. The most dangerous roller coaster in history was called Rough Riders at Coney Island in New York, USA. This wooden third rail electric roller coaster began atop a hill, allowing for an adrenaline filled drop to start the ride before reaching a lift hill later on. Most roller coasters at the time used gravity to propel the train forward and a brakeman to slow it down when needed. This coaster's ride operator also rode with guests, but instead of having a brake, the operator's job was to manually turn off the electric power after the initial ascent. However, if the mechanism broke or the operator failed to turn it off in time, the electric power would force the ride to go at speeds too fast that would cause the train to tip over on turns. The seven deaths this issue caused are why we give Rough Riders the number one spot on our list as the most deadly roller coaster in history. The first accident took place on June 22, 1910 when according to some reports, the electrical system malfunctioned and the motorman was unable to slow down the ride. It went speeding around a turn and flung 16 riders out of their cars, four of whom died hitting the ground after a nine meter drop. This catastrophe was apparently not enough to prove this train unsafe because it remained open and only five years later, on July 27, 1915, the coaster would claim the lives of three more unfortunate thrill seekers. Almost the exact same accident happened. The electrical system malfunctioned and the motorman was unable to slow the train, causing it to tip on a turn and eject passengers out from their cars from over nine meters in the air. The motorman's body hit an onlooker on the ground near the ride and sent her to the hospital. There was an incredible act of bravery on the second crash, however. A mother was riding the coaster with her five-year-old son and they were both launched from their seats. But somehow she was able to hold onto her son with one arm while grabbing a safety railing with the other. Dangling 
dwindling over a massive drop, this incredible supermom was able to hold on until help arrived, pulling her and her son back to safety. It is uncanny how similar these instances were and how avoidable the second accident was. The ride's manager, Thomas Ward, was arrested and charged with homicide, but the jury ultimately let him off the hook. Thankfully, the ride was not let off the hook for a second time, and after taking the lives of seven park goers, it was finally shut down. If you found this list fascinating and want to learn more about insanely dangerous park rides, click the video on the screen right now to learn about the 10 most dangerous water slides. While most roller coaster deaths happened in the 1900s, water slide deaths are a modern problem, with the number one most dangerous water slide in the world not opening until 2014, before literally decapitating a poor child. 